about to give you an excuse as to why you should buy more rental properties. We all want that excuse, right? Like, I wanna buy a ton. But I'm gonna give you three actual reasons why you really should consider not just buying one rental property. More properties is always fun, but don't we need some business reasons to back it up? I'm about to give you those. So, if you already own a rental property, or you're thinking of buying one, or you're thinking about how to scale your rental properties, hit the like button, and say hi in the comments. Let's get all the rental property investors talking. We can talk about scaling, we can talk about all sorts of cool stuff. But for now, let's get back to the topic at hand. Why should you consider buying more than one rental property? Reason number one, you don't always know what property is gonna perform the best. You don't. So what if you put all your eggs in one basket, assuming it's gonna be the best performer you can find, and a different one would have actually performed better. You don't know. So the more properties you get, the more you can kind of, you know, take your chances. Which one is gonna perform best? I actually have a video that I talk about one of my specific properties. The video is, is it possible to have too nice of a rental property? And the reason this is relevant is because at the same time that I was buying this really nice rental property, I was also buying one on a super sketchy street. Kind of the kind of street where I can't actually get out of a car, it's dangerous. There's other stories, but it's, it's one of those. And when I bought both of those, I had every assumption under the sun that the nicer property was gonna perform better. Well, now that I've had both of those for 10 years, guess which one has actually performed better? Not the nicest one, the sketchy street one. There was no way for me to know that though. All I can do is my own analysis, I can run numbers, I can do neighborhood analysis, I can make intelligent assumptions, but at the end of the day, we just don't always know what is gonna perform the best. So check out that video for the whole story on these properties down below because it is something you wanna know. Can you buy too nice of a rental property? It's kind of what I did accidentally. So check that out below. Reason number two that you should think about buying more than one rental property, Diversification, more specifically, not being reliant on the income from only one stream. Meaning, if something goes bust, you have other income streams to carry you forward. So if you buy just one rental property and something happens, the roof caves in, or you have some big expense, or who knows what happens, or a vacancy period, your one income stream is on hold, or in the negative, or whatever happens to it. But if you have more than one rental property, if something happens on one of them, you have other properties, those incomes can help carry you through this time or the situation. This is a big reason why people like multifamily properties instead of single family. It serves the same purpose. On one hand, you could buy a ton of single family properties and have this mitigation against having all your eggs in one basket. But with a multifamily property, you have multiple units under one roof. So if one unit goes vacant, for example, you're still getting income from the other one. It's a whole diversification thing. For multifamily versus single family, to talk more about those pros and cons, which does include the diversification factor, I have a link below that literally spells out each pro and con for multifamily versus single family. So definitely check that out as well. Then, lastly, the reason you should consider buying more than one rental property is, might be kind of obvious, more profit. You then are gonna just get more profit assuming you know what you're buying. But also into this is leveraging. If you start leveraging multiple properties, your returns can increase exponentially. Think about it, if you have one property, there's five ways that a, property can, a rental property can make money. And if you aren't clear on what those are, I'll link to a video to help you with that below as well. But if it makes money in five different ways, if you have five properties, now you're making money in 25 different ways. Five profit streams for five properties, 25. But then what if you bring leveraging into it? You may not know how leveraging fits into this exactly, but that 25 number is gonna increase exponentially with how you leverage. I know, clear as mutton, right? Don't worry, I have a video for that too. So check out that below. So some videos I have linked below, can you buy too nice of a rental property, multifamily versus single family, five profit centers of a rental property, and 
leveraging? Should you leverage or pay cash? And in that conversation, it really breaks down the numbers as to what that exponential increase in profit is. Either way, even if you pay cash, the more properties you have, the more potential profit. Hello, to me it's a no brainer. Sure, start with one rental property, go from there, learn, build up. It doesn't have to be a fast build, but in my opinion, you should always be thinking about buying more than one. If you agree, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. So I put videos out every single week to try and help you with exactly these things. I hope you subscribe and check all of those out.